first hundred days often refers to the beginning of a leading politician's term in office. It was really a very busy day for the council chairman of Oshimili South, Honorable Obi Kevin Ezenyili, as he marked 100 days in office on Friday, June 18th. We started with media chat, inauguration of the local government economic council, local government advisory council made up of quintessential leaders of Oshimili South, 160 environmental marshal, street naming committee, and the signing of the 2021 appropriation bylaw tagged budget of hope. Despite the obvious challenge associated with most local government councils across the nation, Honorable Obi Kevin was able to achieve the following feats within the period under review. Our achievements so far, in order to kickstart this administration, we decided to initiate a policy that will harness most of the sources of revenue Due to, the, due to the council via an automated process. The policy introduced and created an online portal for application of identification certificate of origin, which is now in full course. It regulated the issuance of the certificate only to bona fide indigents of Oshimili South Local Government Council area, and also make the process easily accessible to applicants within and outside Nigeria. It may also interest you to know that this administration inaugurated an asset recovery committee to assist in recovering assets belonging to the local governments which were illegally acquired by individuals and organizations and generate revenue in the course of its duty. One major constraint faced by this administration at inception was the absence of inadequate office furniture for the executive arm. This is however a routine of the past as I ensured our offices within the executive and were provided with state-of-the-art furniture and electronic devices befitting a 21st century office with the available resources at our disposal. As that was not enough, the local government is also partnering with EcoBank PLC to provide interest-free loans repayable within six months to the first batch of 100 women of Oshimili South local government area for petty traders, among others. The administration also has planned to partner with the government and private investors in agro-industry and other sectors to achieve its developmental plans. With the immense support of various stakeholders, his formidable team, dynamic legislators and competent civil servants working, the chairman believe that the vision of restoring the lost glory of Oshimili South local government area would be actualized. The leadership forum to assist in the development policy of the local government. I've never been involved before. And I can tell you that as much as I've been in the system, I didn't even know such an office exists. So congratulations. Um, and I can see you're building another one there. We'll continue to thank our Excellencies in the thought of Dave and Yokoa. Because what they have done for us, we have not seen it before. And what they have done for the local government and the state, we have not seen it. Today he has even given me a surprise. Because when he mentioned the advisory council and my king said I should come and represent him, I said, well, advisory council will give him all the support. Let me say, a governor of this local government, if I'm allowed to say so, for thinking it wise to have a, a broad spectrum of people like this. For the caliber of persons that is, the Avasi Council is composed of, that get the wise counsel. Above all, God is the great counselor. He will counsel you. The icing on the cake was a groundbreaking ceremony of the Oshimili South Legislative Complex. From the local government secretariat, the council hosting the Delta State Capital, Asaba, I am Gospel Amalia Mifobo, reporting for Leap TV News.